Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's another great week. We give God the glory and honor and adoration. I have a word for somebody here this morning or this afternoon, wherever you are watching from. The Lord God Almighty will do something new in this new week in your life in the name of Jesus. In Exodus chapter 14, we're reading from 13 to 14. And Moses said unto the people, Moses said unto the people the same way I'm saying to somebody this morning or this afternoon, depending on where you are watching from this today. He said, Fear ye not. Fear ye not. Talking to somebody again, I don't know what is causing fear in your heart. God is ministering today saying, you should fear not. You should fear not. No matter the level of what is happening, no matter the degree of what you are going through, God is talking to somebody today that you should fear not. Fear not. God is with you. Fear not. God is in control. Fear not. God is able. Fear not is more than enough. He said, fear ye not. Stand still. Stand still. Meaning believe that God is reliable, is dependable, is able. Stand still. Stand still with the Lord. Then you will see the salvation of the Lord. Salvation is a compound world. Stand still, still and you will see deliverance of the Lord. Stand still and you see the breakthrough of the Lord. Stand still and you see the manifestation of the Lord in that problem, in that challenge that you are facing. God is able, is ever reliable, ever dependable, ever faithful God you serve. is able to deal with that challenge you are facing. He said you should stand still, then you will see the salvation of the Lord which is going to show to you today. Is going to show to you today. Is going to show you his salvation today, not tomorrow. Today, today, right now, God is stepping into it. Not tomorrow, not next tomorrow. Today, you shall see the salvation of the Lord. He is near you, He is with you. Not tomorrow. God is taking care of that challenge for you today. Today, today, not tomorrow. He says, Stand still. You shall see the salvation of the Lord. And he says something there that is so interesting. And he said, for in the Egyptians that you see today, you shall see them again no more forever. Oh, you shall see them again no more forever. When God steps into that situation, you will see that challenges again forever. It's not coming up again. God is taking it away from you, but he's telling me to tell you that you should fear not. You should fear not. Stand still. Look at what verse 14 says. He said, the Lord shall fight for you. Hallelujah. The Lord shall fight for you. Not your pastor, not your mother, not your father, but the Lord Almighty, the mighty one in battle shall fight for you, not me. Shall fight for you. And when the Lord is the one fighting for you. Who can stand you? No one. I'm glad to tell you that today, salvation of the Lord is coming to your house. Salvation of the Lord is coming to your business. Salvation of the Lord is coming to your children. Salvation of the Lord is coming to that challenge. Why? Because the Lord is the one that will fight for you. In the name of Jesus, as you go out this week, the Lord will fight your battle for you. You are going back to the office and you are going to meet that problem already solved. In the name of Jesus, that's your son, that's your daughter, that's your husband. The Lord is changing them. The Lord is stepping in. The Lord is fighting for you. In the name of Jesus, I welcome you to a great week. A week of breakthrough. A week of breakthrough. A week of breakthrough. Remember, it's today. So it's starting from today. Throughout this week, you are going to be seeing breakthrough, left, right, and center. 
in the name of Jesus, the Lord will fight for you. The Lord will fight for your children. The Lord will fight for your husband. The Lord will fight for your wife. The wife will fight for your career in the name of Jesus. The Lord will fight for your ministry in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Have a great week. I'm Pastor Becky from Transformers Chapel. And I'm using this opportunity to welcome you to our church services on Sundays, 8 a.m. in the morning, first service, and 10.30 a.m. in the morning, second service. The Lord bless you. Karibu sana. You're welcome.